Have you ever had a flat tire and just didn't know how to change it? Well, I'll show you that. But before we do that, let's just rewind for a second and I'll let you know first steps that you need to know before changing your tire. Be sure to set your park brake. Turn on your hazard lights. Now, just get the tools that you need from the back of your car or wherever it's located. Get the jack, wrench, and spare tire from the trunk of your car and bring them over to the tire that is flat. Use other tools or supplies if needed. This method acting might pay our bills, but soon enough they'll be a different role to fill. Use the wrench to loosen the lug nuts. You may need to remove the hubcap. Don't remove the lug nuts at this point. Simply loosen them by turning the wrench to the left, counterclockwise. If the lug nuts are really tight, try placing the wrench on the nut and standing on the wrench to use your full weight on it. Use the jack to lift the vehicle off the ground. Different car models may have different places to put the jack. Once the jack is securely in the correct spot, jack up the car until the tire is about six inches off the ground. Remove the lug nuts and pull the tire off the car. Make sure to place the lug nuts in a pile that won't get scattered. And pull the tire straight towards yourself to remove it from the wheelbase. Place the spare on the car. Line up the lug nut posts with the holes in the spare and push the spare all the way onto the wheelbase until it can't go any further. Use the jack to bring the car back down to ground level. Remove the jack from underneath the car. With the car back on the ground, you can now tighten the lug nuts. Rather than tightening them one by one in order, start with one lug nut, tighten about 50%, move to the opposite nut, across the circle, and tighten that one about the same amount. Keep tightening opposite lug nuts gradually, in turn, until each lug nut is as tight as it can be. Put your flat tire and tools back into your trunk. Make sure you don't leave anything on the side of the road and you are ready to go and hit the road. Good job, now you know how to change the tire. Now, go out there and burn some rubber, but hopefully not to the point where you have to change another tire. Hopefully you don't have to do that again. But if you did, you know how to now. Have a good one. <laughs>